Are you guys ready for an amazing Funko Pop hunt and a 7,000 subscriber giveaway announcement? Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we go on an incredible Funko Pop hunt at another amazing store by a name that you guys have already heard of called Time Warp Toys. Now if you guys remember, a couple weeks back we actually did a hunt video at the Time Warp Toys Saugus location, but the owner actually reached out to us after we dropped the video and said, look, if you guys want to come check out a cool store with a ton of fire, you got to go check out our location in the North Shore Mall right here in Boston. So that is exactly what we did. So guys, you are not going to want to miss out on the entire length of this video. So without further ado, please enjoy our hunt video at Time Warp Toys. All right, guys. So if you didn't see our video from last week, go check it out where we actually went to the Time Warp Toys in Saugus. Well, now today we're going to check out the Time Warp Toys here in Peabody in the North Shore Mall. So they got some really cool stuff. So I think you guys are going to enjoy this store just as much as me and Joanna. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So walking into the store at first glance, they got a lot of great stuff, including that giant Freddy Funko in the back all the way over there, which we are gonna have to take a picture with at some point. So they have some grail cases right when you first walk in. We will get to those at some point, but we're gonna start it off with the first section here. We have a bunch of Motu Pops. See, we have some Con Sticker Triclops, Webster, another Buzz Off, Tongue Lasher, Man at Arms. And then coming down here, it looks like we have a little DC section. Chase Roman Sionis, that was from the Birds of Prey. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Joker King, the Atom. Right here we actually have one of the cheapest 1500 pops you will ever, 1500 piece pops you'll ever find, the Crusaderette from Emerald City Comic Con. And then coming down here, we have some more DC pops. As you guys will see throughout the store, they have done a really good job sorting out the pops by theme and by section. So now we're going to come on over to the second shelf here and we're going to move into some ad icons along with the Skater Freddy, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. We also have Jim Henson holding Ernie. I know Joanna loves that one. Let's see, we have the Con Sticker Toucan from what year was that from from 2020 we also have the energizer bunny coming down here we have some icons we also have the 1500 piece Polly pigeon from new york comic-con we have tj we have another freddy there's actually a bunch of freddy funkos in this store and uh not many stores have freddy funkos so it's pretty cool to see Coming on down, we have some more icons as well as some ad icons. We have T-Bone, Mayor McCheese, The Noid, Little Orphan Orange, Hamburglar, Big Boy. And then coming on down to the next shelf here. Let's see, we have Mr. Sprinkles, Mr. Peanut, Punchy, Morton Salt Girl, Rock Out, Ronald McDonald, another Freddy. This one's a limited one, 5,000 piece Dream Team Freddy. We have some more Otter Pops. And then coming on down here, we have some more ad icons. We have another Pigeon. We have Mimic the Monkey, Tony the Tiger, Torchy, Wolfgang, and another Morton Soft Girl. Coming on over here, up to the next section, we have Fred Flintstone, the Coca-Cola Bottle Cap, Powdered Donuts. Let's see, another Polly Pigeon, the Kool-Aid Packet, which is a kind of a weird Thing to make a pop out of we also have the mtv moon person oh this one's a cool one the funko shop exclusive rainbow bigfoot we have officer mac let's see we have some directors here we have the noid luthor which i don't think i've ever seen that pop we have big owl which is a cute one i love some of these original funko characters i think they're definitely underrated we have pez girl dr seuss which is a really cool pop Let's see, we have Captain Cupcake. Coming on down, we have some Pop Rocks with NSYNC, Angus Young from ACDC, 
Brett Michaels, Def Leppard, and Justin Timberlake. Coming on down, we have TLC once again. Duran Duran. Oh, we have a Diamond Hot Topic Selena. Not the big Selena, but still a very cool pop. We have Dead Mouse. Let's see, Backstreet Boys, Tupac. And then coming on down here, we have Queen. Oh, we also have one of my favorites right here with Slash from Guns N' Roses. Absolutely love that pop. Let's see, we have some more stuff. More Def Leppard, some Iron Maiden, and Run DMC. Oh, and this was actually a Chase Chili from TLC, which is pretty cool. All right, so moving now into some Harry Potter pops. We also have some Fantastic Beasts, some Crimes of Grindelwald, if I'm saying that correctly. Let's see, I'm not too familiar with some of these characters. We also have Anchorman. We have Josh from Big. Great pop right there. Now moving into some Back to the Future. Right here we have LeBron James from the new Space Jam movie. We also have Dracula from the Universal Monsters line. Coming on down here, we have another big pop. Mad Max, Chuck Norris, always a great one. Some Zombieland pops. We have Bob Wiley from What About Bob. Porky Pig from the newer Space Jam as well. 007 and Chuck from Castaway. All right, coming on down here, some more movies pops. Once again, really like how they've organized this. Some Die Hard, Lord of the Rings, Smallfoot, and Agent H from Men in Black. Coming down here, we have some Power Rangers. We have a Chase Dog Hand. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. We also have some Ghostbusters with Dr. Peter Venkman, another Chuck Norris, Lloyd, Christmas, Layla, and then Iron Bob. So now we're actually gonna come over here and show you guys the back section. For all of our soda collectors, they do have some Funko sodas, but from what we could tell, it looks like they're all opened and we don't think there's any chases. However, they do have some old school ones. I see Lino back there. We also have Matthew Battelle, which is a pretty rare one. So definitely some cool ones for sure. And then come on over here, they actually have some bigger pops. So we have the six inch Chase Immortal Hulk. We have Ludo, another, oh, this one's a Glow Chase Professor Hulk. We have a couple of, we actually just sold this pop, the Tiamat Dragons. Up here we have a Princess Leia and R2-D2 two pack. That one is fantastic. Coming up here, we have the White Knight Batman and Joker two pack. The Upside Down 11 and Barb, which is a great one. Star Wars 3-pack. This one is one of the best 2-packs, in my opinion, that they have ever made. The Morgan Stark and Holographic Tony Stark 2-pack. We have the Masters of the Universe t-shirt bundle. Buff Rick and Buff Summer. This one's pretty cool. This is the Giant Rescuers Down Under Orville ride. That thing is pretty crazy. And right here we have Mount Lady from My Hero Academia. We have one of the treasure skeletons here. This was a Disney Parks exclusive, as well as Big Daddy from Bioshock and another six inch Rick and Morty pop. Right here we have Smog from The Hobbit, which is pretty cool. We have two of them actually. And then, I'm not sure who that is on the side. We have Elvira Devaros from Doctor Who. And then right here we actually have an old school DeLorean, Marty McFly and the Time Machine, which is super cool. One of the best pop rides I've ever done. We have the Fred Flintstone Pop Town, and then we have the Artist Series Stan Lee. And then guys, I had to pull it out because they actually have two of them and they're super cool. This is Dino and the Flintmobile from the Flintstones. Absolutely amazing pop ride. Funko killed it with this one. And uh, you just don't see it every day. So I definitely had to show that one off. So pretty cool. Like I said, they got two of them just hiding back there. So looking for a great new home. But we're actually going to come over here because there's a little section that I want to show off to you guys. And uh, they have some pretty cool pops up here near the register. We have the Hot Topic exclusive Nelson Mutz from The Simpsons. We have the Flocked Bullseye, awesome ad icon. We have the Purple Art Series Scooby-Doo. We have a Glow Chase, Terrible Tornado. Right here, this is freaking awesome. Somebody made a custom 
almost looks like a Spartan Warrior Freddy Funko. And I mean, this thing is super cool. Definitely one of a kind. Wish Funko would make an actual Freddy of that. Right here, we have Michelangelo with his surfboard. We have the Artist Series Minnie Mouse, a Chase Vivian Ward from Pretty Woman. Right here, we have a real Freddy Funko with the Taurus Freddy. We have Safari Deadpool. Oh man, Scaramouche from a Samurai Jack. And then coming on down here, we have Nick from Big Mouth. We have the Pegasus from the Myths line and the very awesome Iron Man with Gantry from Iron Man 2. But it gets better, guys. We're gonna come over. And they actually have a LA Comic Con exclusive Hunter Hunter Pop. We have the Funko Shop exclusive DC Bombshells Breast Cancer Batwoman. We also have Master Chief with the Energy Sword, the GameStop exclusive. I actually don't have this one. I really love the pilot episode for the first Halo. Uh, for the Halo show they have going on right now, and uh, I might have to grab that one. So here we have Frankenberry, Beef Squatch, and Linda Belcher from Bob's Burgers as well. Then we have Frankenberry, the Chase Vision from WandaVision, as well as Evie from The Descendants, and the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Glow in the Dark Black Panther. Coming on down here, we have Moaning Myrtle, which was a 2018 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. We have The Demons and another art series, Mickey Mouse. Coming on around, we have Ron Weasley, another Batwoman, and Andy Dwyer. And then come on up on the cart here, we have the Count Chocula with the cereal bowl. Awesome one. If you don't have that one, you definitely need it if you're an Ad Icon fan. We have Barnacle Boy, the Glow in the Dark, Jetpack, Mandalorian, great one. Here we have Blade from last year's Funcon. Then we have Angela Martin holding Sparkles. Then we have the uh, brand new Funko Shop Glow in the Dark Deku that everybody was looking for. And then coming on up here, we have the Glow Chase Megavolt, a very unique artist series Mickey Mouse. I don't think I've seen this one. Another Hunter Hunter Pop and Constantine, which I believe this one has actually been going up in value. And then really quick, coming over to this side, we have one of my favorite Spider-Man pops, the Walgreens exclusive Superior Spider-Man. Looks like we have one of the sealed uh, Fun Day Games pops, which is pretty cool. And then we have an OG Mickey Mouse. So now we're gonna go back over to the giant wall and uh, we're gonna start tackling everything over there. All right, guys, so now we are gonna tackle this giant wall of awesomeness. But first thing I gotta point out back here, there was actually a New York Comic Con Indiana Jones Indies ride hiding back there, which is pretty cool. Up on the top shelf, so I'm gonna do my best to capture as much as we can here. We have the McDonald's five pack. And then right here we have Batwoman and Catwoman. We have the deluxe Boba Fett. And then we have a really cool six pack here that Joanna and I have never seen. So it's a 3000 piece Funko Shop exclusive and all of them are flocked, which is just really unique. The box does look a little beat up, but it's just something that we've really never come across before in our many years of collecting. So, all right, so we have some Todoroki pops. Let's see. Coming on down here, some Inuasha, Attack on Titan. Man, everybody's always asking us for Attack on Titan. Hunter Hunter, the Blue Spirit, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. We have Full Metal Alchemist. Right here we have Hoppy, the Hopperoo. Uh, let's see, Natasha. We also have Johnny Quest, which looks like his, uh, his little dog there, trying to run away, trying to bust out of the box. We also have Bullwinkle, Spike from Rugrats, and then Squidward from the SpongeBob movie. Down here, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Chili Willy, and that one, he is frozen. We have Breezy, Astronaut Snoopy. This is the Chase Top Cat, super cool pop right there. The Armored Jack from Samurai Jack, which would go really well with the new Funko Soda that just came out. We have Present Mike, Todoroki, Overhaul, the glow in the dark Deku. Um, let's see if there's any names that I can't pronounce. I'm just going to skip them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, I will try to do my best to show off 
all the anime for you guys. We have some Dragon Ball Z. Let's see. So we have the Glow in the Dark Gemini exclusive Simon Bar Sinister. We have Elmer Fudd from Looney Tunes. That's super cool. Once again, another unique one. We have Dudley Do Right. And then coming on down here, we have Breezy, Elkabong, Professor Pat Pending. Then we have some Game of Thrones, Pepita from Coco. And then we have the Water Knock, Mounted White Walker, and then Darth Vader in his TIE Fighter. We have the Mandalorian on the Blurg, the Dragon Zord, Six Inch Pop, Jon Snow on the Throne, Zoltar from Big, Tiri from Avengers Infinity War, the artist, or the street art series, Luke Cage, C Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones, and another Zoltar. We have Thunderjaw, Mounted White Walker. We have the Back to the Future Dock with Clock Tower, Pop Town, which is a really cool one. Let's see, we have some Dungeons and Dragons. So we're moving into some gaming pops here. Let's see, I'm gonna try to go up a little bit. We have the Balrog, V Female, Mega Man, Crack Shot, Sweeper Bot, a couple more Office Pops. And then moving on up, some Street Fighter Pops, Diablo, Fallout 76, Evolve, and another V Male. Let's see, we have Val from Evolve, some games that I've never heard of. We've definitely heard of Overwatch because we've come across quite a few Overwatch Pops. We have Beachhead from G.I. Joe, Colonel Mustard from Clue, another Beachhead, and the Cobra Red Ninja. Coming up here, we have Duke, Megatron, Mr. Monopoly in the jail suit, the Red Rocker, Cobra Bat, and Ultimate Knight and Napalm Bomb. Up here, we have some 10 inch pops with the Glow in the Dark Kylo Ren Supreme Leader, the Woody Remix Wayne Gretzky, a Chase Rainbow Troll, another Wayne Gretzky, Ezra from The Haunted Mansion, Zombie. Thing, which was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And then we have a Beast Man, which was a New York Comic-Con exclusive. Coming on down, we have Scotty Pippen, Optimus Prime, the Glow in the Dark Funko Shop Glow Worm. Now we're moving into some sports pops. We have some NASCAR, Magic Johnson, which is of course a basketball player. But then we have Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Tiger, which is the Clemson's mascot. And then, Let's see, come on down. We have some WWE Pops. I know there's a lot of people looking we for WWE, WWE Pops right Pops. now. Three rows of WWE Pops. So we're gonna do our best to show off all of them. We have John Cena, Mr. McMahon, Bray Wyatt, Andre the Giant, Goldberg, Batista, Undertaker, Drew McIntyre, Sasha Banks, Triple H, which I'm not a WWE fan, but that is a pretty cool pop. We have Macho Man, Randy Savage, and then we're moving into some TV pops once again. We have some Simpsons characters, then going back to WWE. We have The Rock, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, a bunch of Stone Colds, AJ Styles, and then Shinsuke Nakamura, which sounds more like an anime name to me. Uh, then we have Artemis Fowl, this is awesome. Han Solo with the Tauntaun, Daenerys and Jora. Then we have the Skeletor on Panthor. And then we have a really awesome one, Freddy Funko with the Pop Town HQ. I love that one. Then we have some Rick and Morty, some more Game of Thrones, Princess Leia, and Arthur pulling Excalibur from the Sword in the Stone. All right, so now we have a bunch of Simpsons pops. So for all you Simpsons fans, I'll try to go over all these as best as I can. We have Demon Lisa, Belly Dancer Homer, Stupid Sexy Flanders. Oh, and now we have Rick and Morty, Tiny Rick, Gearhead, Squanchy with Rope, Unity, Cornvelius Daniel. I'm gonna skip that one. Hemorrhage, Morty, Jaguar, and Swifty Wick, Rick, as well as Death. Crystal Morty coming up here to where some more of the sports pops are and then moving back into 
Rick and Morty, a bunch of cool ones here. Evil Morty with the eye patch, Toxic Morty, which has an awesome glow on it. Let's see, another gear head. And then moving up here, we have the Hologram Rick clone. Another one that we'll pass on, Teacher Rick, Queen Summer, Kirkland Meeseeks, Story Train, Evil Morty, Snowball, Summer, and Lawyer Morty. Then coming on back up here, guys, we have another tra Chase Rainbow Troll. These are all 10 inches. Neon City Kong, LeBron James, the Celebration Exclusive Stormtrooper. Look how small that sticker is compared to the entire pop. Same thing with this one, the Emerald City Comic Con, Indiana Jones, with that tiny little sticker. Look at this. Funko, just put some bigger stickers on these 10 inch pops. We have Boba Fett, and then we have the Funko Shop exclusive Skeletor, and then we have Big Boy and Scrooge McDuck. So now we're coming on down to some Disney pops. I wanna point this one out. This is the OG Simba from series six of the Disney wave, and I think that one is super undervalued right there. We have some Toy Story 4, we have Santa sneaking in there. Watch out for Santa, it says off time of the year. Some tailspin, and then we're gonna move into the giant Star Wars section. But before we do that, I wanna go back and cover a bunch of these pops that I didn't show you guys yet. We have Demona from Gargoyles, the Remix Dory. I don't remember that one coming out. I must have missed that. Artist Series Donald Duck. We have a Diamond Exclusive Marie, Combat Carl, Quasimodo, a Chase Wildcat from Tailspin. We have Stitch on the People Mover, the Remix Kevin, Duke Kaboom, Constance Hatchaway. Then we have the Glitter alien from toy story we have the diamond hades mexico halloween donald brave little taylor mulch diggums skeeter valentine scrooge mcduck and then coming on here we have a lilo with scrump i love that one violet from the incredibles blacklight alice artist series jack flocked blue another sheree khan and then coming on down here they actually have a bunch of multi-packs which I will show off to you guys. We have the Saturday Night Live two pack, Office Space, Romeo and Juliet, which that one's pretty cool. Definitely don't see that one too often. We also have the Sandlot two pack. And then coming on over, the Han Solo and Princess Leia, the Mariotti and Becker two pack, which I feel like is everywhere, Kylo Ren and Rey, and then Brooke and Sindri. So coming on up, let's see. So before we get into the DC section, they actually have a pretty big Star Wars section. Guys, check this out. We have Sabine from the Rebels line, C uh, CB-6B, Darkseid Ray, one of the Knights of Ren, Princess Leia, DJ, Dryden, Janna, a few more Knights of Ren, Lieutenant Connix. And then coming on up, we have I forget what they call this one, the Retro, I believe that was Retro Series, C-3PO. We have a Dark Trooper, Han Solo, K-2SO, Maz Kanata, Luke Skywalker, The Client, Princess Leia. And then moving on up here, we have Val, L3, Baze Malbus, Paige, Baba Frick, Knight Brother, Han Solo, the Resistance BB-8 unit, Emphis Nest, and then coming on up here, we actually have, this is the Funko Shop exclusive Mandalorian with Beskar Spear. Then we have Vice Admiral Haldo, Captain Cassian Andor, which he is actually getting his own show. Hopefully at the end of this year, they'll release that. And then a bunch of sequel trilogy pops and a bunch of Rogue One pops. Coming on up here, we have the 10 inch He-Man, another 10 inch Wayne Gretzky, Zombie the Thing, Beast Man, a giant Sorcerer Mickey, the Red Boba Fett, as well as another Star Wars Celebration Stormtrooper. All right, guys, so we have two big sections left here. We have the DC section and the Marvel section. So here's the DC. We have the Heath Ledger Joker, which we love. Coming on down here, we have some Shazam. We have Mera from the Justice League, Huntress from Birds of Prey. Pedro, this one's super awesome. We also have the 
uh, what was this? The Legion of Collectors DC exclusive Plastic Man. That one would go good with the soda that just dropped. We have Terra, the Joker, Killer Croc from Suicide Squad, Dark Side from the Justice League, and then we're moving into some Marvel. White Lantern, Sinestro, Rick Flag from Suicide Squad, the DC Bombshells, Hawk Girl, Black Canary from Birds of Prey. Coming on here, we have the Gold Arthur Curry, the Devastator, Alfred E. Newman, the Cheetah, and then we have some more multi packs down here. But we'll come back up and we'll show you guys all the Marvel stuff because Marvel is pretty hot right now. We're actually getting ready to see the first episode of Moon Knight tonight, which is pretty cool. Let's see, we have Zombie Mystique, Howard the Duck. Let's see, oh, that one's a great one. We have the Hot Top exclusive Human Torch, Zombie Rogue, Death Dealer. Coming up here, we have Hydro Man, Artist Series Captain America, Cable, Harley Quinn snuck in here, Kamala Khan. Look at this, we have the Jessica Jones line, Luke Cage, Silent Night Batman, Rogue, Dark Phoenix. This one's a cool one. You can definitely see this one going up in value very soon. The OG Storm in her black outfit. We also have the Blacklight Ant-Man, Invisible Girl, another artist series, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel with the haircut. Look at this, OG Beast right here. This thing is from 2015, look at that. That seems like it's a super reasonable price too. Kamala Khan, Herbie, and Cable. Coming up here we have Spider-Man, Juggernaut, which is a great one. The Chase Captain Marvel, Target exclusive Wolverine, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, another Captain Marvel, the Infinity Saga Artist Series Hawkeye, Agent 13, Zombie She-Hulk, which that one might be a good one to pick up because all the other She-Hulks have been going up in value. We have the Mech Strike Hulk, Funko Shop exclusive Kid Loki, Captain Adam, and then we have Vision, the White Vision, Captain America, Minerva, T'Challa Star-Lord, Venomized Human Torch, Artist Series Captain America, Punisher War Machine, let's see, Safari, Deadpool, oh and guys, look at this, Black Bolt, PX Previews exclusive, this one might be a good one to pick up too, from 2016, might be seeing him in the Doctor Strange movie, Dark Phoenix, another Luke Cage, New York, New York Comic Con exclusive Gold Shiri, Angel, and then up here, rounding out the giant wall of Funko Pops, guys, we have the 10 inch Ezra, Zombie Black Panther, Skeletor, Zombie the Thing, the black and white Mickey Mouse, LeBron James, the Silver Pikachu, which was a Target Con exclusive, another giant Stormtrooper, Bullseye, which I love because this one actually has the St. Jude's Research Hospital sticker on there. We have Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, Skeletor, and He-Man. So now we're gonna do it, guys. Now we're gonna show off the Grail cases. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is one of two of their Grail cases, and they have some awesome stuff in here. So we have Lydia from Beetlejuice. We have the Basketball Freddy. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we're actually gonna be picking up one pop from one of these cases today, guys, to give away when we hit 7,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button because you could win whatever we end up picking up today. So right here we have the Glow in the Dark Tinkles. We have the OG San Diego Comic-Con Conan O'Brien. That was the first one they made in the Conan line. Look at this, 750 piece Peter Perfect from Wacky Races, super cool. They have a flocked Freddy Funko as Wolfman, 1,000 piece, freaking awesome. Freddy Funko as Jollibee, which was a 3,000 piece. We have the Chocolate Artist Series, Freddy Funko, another 1,000 piece. Freddy Funko as H&R Puffin Stuff, another Lydia from Beetlejuice. We have Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. Look at this, we have a fun exclusive, Marty McFly, Funko Shop exclusive Nemesis Prime. We have Slim, we have the super cool, very hard to find Harrison Comics, black and white Harley Quinn. I actually need to find that one day for my collection. Then we have the Wolfman from the Monsters line. We have Darna, let's see, Michaela, Hakuya, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Spider-Man 2211. We have the OG Gamora with her weapon. King Felix, Lil Sebastian, 
Nightcrawler, Kraglin from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Chase Miles Morales, that one he's unmasked. Then we have the Glow in the Dark New York Comic Con Green Ranger, Valkyrie, the Siberian Husky. As you guys know, we love Alex. Huskies are very important to us. We have a signed Dobby from My Hero Academia. Pretty cool. Another signed pop with Naruto Uzumaki. We have Alex Armstrong, the zombie Magneto, the Hop Topic exclusive Falcon, and the LA Comic Con metallic doppelganger Spider-Man. Coming on down here, we have the hipster Ariel with the glasses. We have the 2,500 piece yellow Dino. Gene Belcher from Bob's Burgers. Then we have a signed seven bucks a pop exclusive Chester Cheetah, pretty cool. We have the evil groundskeeper Willie, Yakko, the red Dino, which is also a 2,500 piece, Count Chocula with the cereal bowl, Kakashi with the lightning blade, NYCC Comic-Con exclusive sticker comic book guy from Simpsons. We have Tsuyu Asui, probably saying that wrong, Achako, uh, Dwight Schrute from The Office, Boo Berry with the cereal bowl, Chester Cheetah, which was a Funko Hollywood exclusive, Jollibee, Jack in the Box, Murd Made Man, a signed Venomized Groot, Hong Kong Fooey, Ron Swanson with the Cornrows, and Andy Dwyer. Coming on over to the next side here, we have a few. We have another Glow in the Dark Tinkles Ghost in a Jar. We have Dwight Schrute where he's got the bobblehead of himself. I absolutely love that one. That was such a great episode. Then we have Savant from the Suicide Squad. I think he was in that movie for about 90 seconds. Then we have the Fugitive Toys, John Diggle. The Target exclusive Hobgoblin that came in the t-shirt bundle. Millhouse and another comic book guy. Coming over here, guys, it just gets better and better. So. We have Marty McFly in the radiation suit. We have Monica Geller with the turkey on her head. We have a signed Blue Ranger, 3,000 piece ogre from the Gummy Bears line. Coraline in pajamas. Another Chester Cheetah with the sunglasses. A Chase, this is a glow, glow Chase Freddy Krueger, super cool. We have a 1,000 piece Lippy the Lion, as well as a 1,000 piece Hardy Har Har. So some super rare pieces right there. We have a glow in the dark 2017 Funimation exclusive All Might, Floki, a flocked Doug, which is pretty cool. And then we have one of my all time favorites that I need to get at some point, the Hot Topic exclusive super rare White Raven. We also have Max from Where the Wild Things Are. I've never seen that pop in my life. We have a pair of black light carnages. <laughs> We have the Glow in the Dark Ben from Umbrella Academy. We have the Chase Vision from WandaVision. Red Hood, which is another awesome one. We have a Metallic Harley Quinn from the Imperial Palace line. The NYCC Newest Carnage Pop. Three Hole Punch Jim Halpert. Look at this, guys. OG Metallic Joker. That thing is super hard to find. And then we have another Constantine. Moving on down, we have a Chase Alien, Tina Belcher. I don't think I've ever seen more Bob's Burgers Pops in one location. And there is Bob himself. We have Dot, the Minecraft Creeper, Evil Lynn, Ghost from Game of Thrones, Freddy Funko as Hercules, and an artist series, Raphael. We also have Chandler Bing with the duck, a Chase Gunther, Rachel Green, Another Hobgoblin, Yzma as the cat, a Chase, Monica Geller, Joey Triabani, Ross Geller, Phoebe Buffet, all from the Friends line. Then we have Linda Belcher, Silent Swordsman, Louise Belcher, and that just about does it for this Grail case. But guys, there's one more, and there's some awesome stuff in this one. Starting off with the 18 inch Funko Shop exclusive 700 piece Adam West Batman. Super cool. Very hard to find that one. Here we have the Ultimate Warrior from the WWE line. We have a Chase Kevin Nash, another Ultimate Warrior. We actually have a Statue of Liberty Freddy Funko. We have a Chase Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn. Rey Mysterio, AJ Lee. Mr. Met, which is pretty cool. 
Frankie, or excuse me, Freddie Freeman, Bruce Lee, another Bruce Lee. Let's see. We have Manolo from the Book of Life, Sean from Shaun of the Dead, Webley, Brian Fantana, Renly Baratheon, Joe Coy, the Indiana Jones where he's holding the Golden Idol. We have the 5,000 piece Britney Spears. Peridot, which we actually just got in a collection recently. We have William Wallace from Braveheart. Here we have Annie Bernard with the banjo, Sam Porter Bridges, Damian Lilliard. Look at this, guys. I have never seen one of these in person. Never been this close to one of these. This is a 400, or excuse me, 1,008 piece headless Ned Stark from 2013 San Diego Comic Con. Super crazy that they have one of those. Here is the 2014 San Diego Comic Con Ghost. We have the Gelatinous Cube, Chase, Ricky Wildman Vaughn, another Evil Lynn, Agent Coulson, Eggsy from Kingsman the Secret Service, I Flocked Mewtwo, Tina Belcher, Artist Series Bugs Bunny, a Glow Chase Gremlins, a Con Sticker SSG Goku, Roy from Rick and Morty. They have the Rush 3 pack, which is super cool. Rick's ship. Here we have the 4,000 piece glow in the dark treasure skeleton from Emerald City Comic Con. A coup and Samurai Jack. Chase, Mr. Mahone. Scary Terry. But guys, it keeps getting better. We got to go to the other side here. So we have Colin Kaepernick. Another Colin Kaepernick. We have Krampus. This is the flocked Chase. Then we have Baby Audrey 2. Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. We have the Freddy Rick, which was a 6,000 piece Fun Days exclusive. And then this is it, guys. This is the final side. We have some more WWE pops with Nick Foley, Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Macho Man Randy Savage, Alexa Bliss, Ultimate Warrior The Rock, Chase Jake the Snake Roberts, Bailey, Seth Rollins, Alexa Bliss. We have Elton John. A Dream Team Freddy, Randy Watson, we have White Goodman, which was just hilarious from Dodgeball, we have The Beast from The Sandlot, Joffrey Baratheon, or I'm probably saying that wrong, M3 The Blue Monster, Holly Golithili from Breakfast at Tiffany's, Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit, let's see, we have Wrath from Apex, The Black Knight from Monty Python and The Holy Grail. Look at this, we have the 1500 piece Amazing Carlos, H&R Puffin Stuff, Sam Porter Bridges, Red Reddington from Blacklist. I heard that show was very good, I just never got around to see it. Flocked Dog from The Walking Dead, a Chase number five. Fred from Sanford and Son, Rubber Man, a 1500 piece Pauly Pigeon, the Cigarette Smoking Man from The X-Files, 8000 piece Bam Bam, which was the top hit in our mystery box this week. Then we have a flocked bullseye. We also have some big Star Wars ones here. We have Ezra, and look at that, guys. We have Captain Rex, one of the best Star Wars pops they've ever made. IG-11 with the child, another great one. The Shock Trooper, the Mud Trooper. They have a red Boba Fett right here. Sabine, where she's wearing her mask. Wednesday Adams, Randy Watson, Lafayette, the Hound. And then coming on down here, guys, we have Harry Potter with the Hogwarts letters, the Dragon 3-pack from Game of Thrones, another Dragon's 3-pack. We have a pair of Ghost Riders on his motorcycle, which I absolutely love. Super OG Marvel Pop. And then we have the Black Light Cheshire Cat and rounding it out, guys, with the 3,000-piece Judo Freddy. So, if you guys are ever in the North Shore Mall, definitely come check out time warp toys you will not be disappointed so we'll see you guys back in the studio to find out what we picked up for our 7,000 subscriber giveaway all right guys so we did end up getting two funko pops from that location uh first off i just want to thank the owner for his kindness and generosity because he is actually sponsoring our 7,000 subscriber giveaway and uh, gave us one of these pops completely free for us to give back to you guys. So I'm gonna put the link down below to Time Warp Toys 
over on Instagram. They are almost at 1,000 followers on Instagram, so we're gonna do this. Because they are so kind and generous to us, we're gonna return the generosity. So, if we can get Time Warp Toys to 1,000 followers on Instagram, we will add in another special giveaway for when we hit 7,000 subscribers right here on YouTube. And if we can get even more followers to Time Warp Toys, for every 100 extra followers, We'll just keep racking up the giveaways because that is what teamwork and community spirit is all about. And either way, guys, you can't lose. So I ended up picking one, one pop-up for my personal collection. And then, of course, we have the big sponsorship pop here. So, guys, check this out. I pointed this out in the video, and I was super happy to finally find this one in very good condition for a very fair price. So check it out. We have Master Chief with the sword. I absolutely love this. Super cool pop. I am loving the Halo series over on Paramount Plus. If you guys have not seen the first two episodes, definitely head over and check it out. It is definitely worth the watch. Even if you haven't played the video game, it's just a really cool series and I'm loving where the storyline is going. So Master Chief with the Energy Sword. That's right, Energy Sword. I was going to say Power Sword, but I was like, that's not right. The Energy Sword. So um, I know this one's been going up in value, so that is why I wanted to secure it for my collection. And uh, I'm almost done completing the Halo line. Uh, there's still a few big pops that I don't know if I'll get my hands on, but for the time being, I have a few really awesome ones in my collection to go with. If you guys saw, I actually just built a custom Master Chief Lego helmet bust. Check this out. I'm not 100% done with it. I still have to make a few modifications, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how the first round of designing came out, and I think it looks really good on the shelf next to our other LEGO helmets. So here we go, guys. Without further ado, once again, huge shout out to Time Warp Toys. Make sure you guys go follow them. So we are going to be giving away. It is a limited piece Freddy Funko. You guys know how much I love my Freddy Funkos. Check it out, guys. Freddy Funko as Wolfman. And I know a lot of people are excited for the Freddy Funko Halloween NFT redeemables to come out. So you got to get this one for your collection as well. He is limited to 3,000 pieces and um, just one of my favorite Freddy Funkos that they've ever made. So like I said, huge shout out to Time Warp Toys. They were just truly, truly kind and absolutely amazing to us. And uh, we're just loving the community spirit. And uh, we hope you guys go give them a follow. And of course, make sure you subscribe to us right here on YouTube. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the hunt video today. Once again, I apologize for being a little bit under the weather. I've been a little stuffed up with all the weather changes and all the fluctuations and everything. So I still hope you enjoyed the video despite not hearing my regular voice. So that's going to do it for us today, guys. Leave a comment down below if you saw any pops that you need for your collection. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score.